radio. The radio. I want something peppy, something happy, something up tempo. I want something snappy. Welcome to the Life 100.3 Retro Show with Scott Jackson. Good morning, hello, and welcome to the show, the show that celebrates all those awesome radio songs from the past. And today, today you are gonna love it. I've spent some extra time putting this one together. Got some cool interviews, some amazing songs. You think I'm kidding? Hey, listen, Stephen Curtis Chapman is coming up. And the Petra song that's more like a rock anthem for believers. It's an anthem. There's no arguing about that. And Mr. Rock and Roll, Rick Kua. You were communicating and you could get a reaction and a response from someone. Hey, it's all coming up on today's show. So fasten your seatbelt, grab a nice can of something from the fridge, a little soft drink. There we go. Oh, what a sound. Be careful, you're going to spill it all over my playlist. Okay, let's do this. Res Band from their debut album, awaiting your reply on the Life Retro Show. I would probably be following in my son's footsteps. He's a, an audio engineer, so he produces music for bands, and I would love to do that, although I don't have the experience. Does that matter? This is just a fantasy question, right? Yeah, I'd like to be a music producer. The most important song in the retro library well, Friends by Michael W. Smith is like a big song, but for important, I don't know, maybe um, maybe Why Should the Devil Have All the Good Music by Larry Norman. I like what that's all about. I think it makes a great statement, so let's go with that one. Life 100.3, the always funky, never flunky retro show with the Worldwide Message Tribe that's called Tell the World. Scott Jackson's here with you. Happy Saturday. Connie Scott from Vancouver is coming up. We're going to be playing a track called Hold On. And if you know this album cover, she's standing beside a phone booth and the phone booth is planted on a beach. It was definitely the coolest album cover shot that we've ever done. All right. Connie Scott, hold on on the Life Retro Show. Jeff Moore for one, because he was the first Christian music artist I heard. And I just like to spend some more time with him. And the other person, since I get two, would be Keith Green. Uh, I never saw him in concert. I became a Christian after he had passed away. So I've got a lot of questions I'd like to ask him. And I, I think it'd just be, um, I think it'd be just really cool to hang out with him. Oh, All This in Heaven 2 by Michael Sweet, the first solo album. It's got to be that one. I love it because it rocks. Um, it reminds me of music from the 80s, which was great music. The rock stuff was great. And obviously it has to have a good message and that it does. All This and Heaven 2. Yeah, Michael Sweet. Life 100.3, it's a classic song, man. It's epic, it's huge. It's Petra with Creed and John Schlitt on vocals and John Schlitt was the best Petra singer, I think. You think it's Greg X? Come on. It's No, don't wave your finger at me. I'm a John Schlitt fan. It's my show. You get your own radio show. Uh, I'm Scott Jackson. Good morning. Amy Grant is on standby. I remember I was working in Kingston at CKLC. It was my first radio job and we were on the third floor of the building. And I always thought it would be cool to do my radio show from the street, okay? 10 o'clock at night, and I wanted to be down on the street as people were like driving by, in sort of near Queens campus, there'd be a lot of activity on Brock Street. And so I came to work one night, it's quarter to 10, had to be on at 10 o'clock, and as I pulled up to the radio station, there was like the street team booth all set up for me because it was my birthday. And my best friend, Chris, had it all set up. The microphone was there, so, Away we went. It's 10 o'clock, I'm Scott Jackson. We're counting down the top five on CKLC. Three minutes later, my boss pulls up in his sports car across the street, comes up to me. Hey, what's going on? I said, I'm doing my show from the street. He's up in the studio. <laughs> he was so mad, but I got to do my show from the street. So that was pretty cool. Guardian, sweet mystery on the Life 100.3 Retro Show. They've recently teamed up with White Cross and they put out this combo album where they sing each other's songs. It's kind of a kind of a mutual respect thing. Maybe worth checking out. I'm Scott Jackson. Good morning. Life 100.3. That's the last song of the show. Oh my goodness. And that, ladies and gentlemen, 
wraps it up for Scott Jackson. We got to get out of here. Coming up next weekend, we are cooking up a good show. Oh my goodness. I've spent some time in the music library in an area that I don't usually hang out in because there's a lot of cobwebs. And here's what I found. Cademan's Call. And they didn't have a long hit list, but that one was good. And uh, I'm thinking about some Eric Champion. Yeah. Do you like it so far? Yeah, you do? Okay, me too. Next Saturday, the show is so nice. We play it twice, 6 a.m. and 11 a.m. You bring the Frosted Flakes. We'll have a big bowl with some milk on it. Man, they are great. Frosted Flakes, and I'll meet you here. Bless you guys. The Life 100.3 Retro Show with Scott Jackson is a music initiative produced by Trust Communications Ministries. Goodbye! Boy, what a great show.